Hey, welcome back everybody. So in the last video we created the routes for our reviews and in this video we're going to continue working on routes and we're going to get the routes set up for our users. So let's go ahead and go over to index.js. We do have users.js but I'm going to put everything in index.js because we're not going to have a ton of routes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and delete users. We'll have index. Just to clean things up we'll go to app.js We'll get rid of users right here, and we'll get rid of users up top here. So basically anywhere in app.js and anywhere in uh, your routes folder where you have reference to users, we're going to want to get rid of that. Okay, so in index.js, we have our home page, and now we want to create another one for, let's see here, this is going to be slash register so it's going to be a get route <clears throat> we'll say we'll call it get, uh, get slash register and let me double check we are using okay cool I just want to make sure we're using uh, the arrow functions and all of our route files okay so we have forward slash register uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that and we'll just do a res dot send and we'll say get register and we'll go ahead and create another one of these. This one will be post to register. So this is how we're going to actually create our user. And so that would be post register. And we'll create another one. This one's going to be a get login. And uh, back here on the previous route, let's make that a router.post for register. So this is going to be get login and this is going to be get okay and let's see here we of course need to log the user in so that will be a post login so that would be post and this will be a router dot post so right now we have the ability to sign someone up log them in when they're signed up uh, and then if they just visited the website they already have an account they can go to login they can log in from there and let's try to anticipate some other things that might happen. <clears throat> let's do a profile route. So e each user will have their own profile. So let's do that real quick. So we'll do a get and it will be slash profile. So slash profile, if I can spell correctly, and this will be get profile and then if we want to the user can update their profile um, so the profile will basically be their login information so when they first register they're gonna get you know their their username and their email and their password and whatnot and so the profile will allow them to change any of that if they want to so the get profile will display that information and we're going to want to be able to update it so we'll do a put profile and that'll be put and I'm noticing that this one right here is a get right because it's a get and so back down here put profile put profile we need the user ID so we can use ID right here but let's be a little more explicit and just call it user ID so that we know exactly what it is that we're pulling from the params when we do pull it from the parameters. So we'll do slash user ID and we'll copy that and paste it in here and do a put. But how are we going to get from the profile that we're looking at to putting it? Well, we could create an edit page, which is fine, but for the user uh, interface and the user experience to be a little bit cleaner, I'm actually going to put the edit form for the profile inside of the view profile. So I'll probably have it set up to where it's a form to begin with. It's pre-populated with the values for the user. And so they can see those values, but they can also edit them simultaneously if they want to. And let's see here. So this is just so you know, the profile is an internal tool for the user when they log in. This isn't like Oh, go to you know Jane's profile or Bob's profile and see their stuff. We just want to be able to 
as a logged in user, change our profile picture, or change our username or email, password, etc. That way, whenever we create a post for review, our little um, Gravatar profile uh, thumbnail, etc., is going to be able to be customized to our liking. So that just made me think well, we do probably want a user profile picture. So let's go to. Uh, we don't have anything in our models just yet and we're not working on that yet anyway but since it's in my head I'm just gonna jump over to Trello real quick and inside the, the, the design the database model uh, card I'm gonna pull it up and edit it and under user right underneath username I'm gonna have a profile uh, pick is what we'll call it and that will be camel case and that will also be a string okay so we'll save that and you could call it profile image or image or whatever you want okay so going back we're still working on our routes let's go back to sublime so what else do we need well we are going to want a password reset feature if you forgot your password so in this case the profile allows them to edit their password when they're logged in but what about when you're not logged in? So that is going to require a couple different routes. And so I'm thinking there's going to be a get route for sure. So we'll copy this one and we'll do it for forgot password. So you go to uh, dot get slash forgot. We can call it forgot password. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and put this right here so this loads the form where they're going to enter in an email and when they send the email it's going to be uh, it can be a post request it's going to change the user uh, document in the database with a token for the password reset so we're actually going to make that a put request since we will be updating the user so we're going to go ahead and duplicate that go down here and do a put request for forgot password remember change this router to router.put and we'll change this to a put okay and so you don't need an ID or anything like that because what we're going to do is whenever someone goes to the form on the get request they're going to type in their email email is going to be unique and then when they submit it to the put inside of the uh, the controller we're going to use the email from the body of the form so rec.body with body parser and we'll look up that specific user and then we can manipulate the user document in the database update that document and then send the email with our mailer that has the link for them to reset their password okay so that's that and then when they click on that link they're going to go to a a get request which is going to be reset password and I don't like the whole word password up here so I'm going to change it on all these uh, not the comments but just the actual routes so I'm just going to change it to PW cool so this is going to be forgot uh, password well yeah we can change it here too just know that it's in if you see PW it's password so forgot password forgot password forgot password uh, this one is going to be reset password reset password reset password so reset password is going to take a token I'm almost positive and uh, let's go ahead and, and reference a tutorial real quick. So we'll go to Google Chrome and look up password reset uh, passport node. And there's uh, the very first one is one that I've used before. I'm not going to copy it entirely this time because uh, there's some updated stuff, uh, some updated ways of writing the code since 2014 when this was put out. He does have a lot of good code in here, but there are some better ways to do it. So whenever we get to the point where we're actually writing the business logic, we will change a lot of things. But what I want to see 
is his routing structure. So let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? A lot of stuff in here. So he has post to slash forgot, uh, and that's all fine. And then reset takes a token, so that's a get request. And then post reset takes a token as well. And I'm pretty sure he has a, a post request that we're, we're doing a put request, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this one, and we're going to make it a put request because again we are changing something in the database uh, we are not posting some new data you could do it either way uh, this is just the way that I prefer to do it okay so I'm going to save it let's review we have our home page we have our register page we have the register route for posting we have our login page posting for login we have our profile page put for updating the profile we have our forgot password page put for forgot password. Then we have our res reset password page put for reset password. Uh, we may come up with some other stuff uh, a little bit later, but we'll go ahead and do that for now. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and test it over in Postman. So first thing we want to do is go to slash just the home page, and we'll send a get request. This should send me back some HTML because I'm doing a res.render up there. Totally fine. Uh, next, we're going to do slash register, which should send me some text. There it is. Get register is working. What about post? Post register is working. We'll just do backwards. Post login. Post login's working. Get login. Get login's working. And you forgot. PW, um, you know, he, the way he does it in the tutorial, he just calls it forgot, and I kind of like that. It's it's a little more succinct, so we're going to select all these dash PWs, and we're just going to call it forward slash forgot and forward slash reset. So I'm going to save all that, and we're going to get rid of that dash PW. We'll send a get request. There's get forgot, put forgot. He's doing a post. I'm doing a put. Uh, reset. Also put, uh-oh, that one's not working. No, what's happening? HTTP. My computer is losing its mind. Slash reset is a get request. Oh, right, it requires a token. So we'll just put some token in there. You can put anything you want. And then a put request. There's a put request, so both of those are working. Okay, so all of our routes that we have thus far for the um, basically the user setup is all working. I did put all that in index. If you really want to get super restful with it, you can put it in slash users. Uh, I choose to keep things a little more succinct for that specifically. If we had a more complex application, then I might do a slash users routes, but uh, this isn't really that big of an app. So I'm going to leave all that in here, and this is saved. We'll go ahead and do git status, git add, git commit. Uh, I'm going to say add. You can say create. Just the basically the format for these commit messages is a uh, present tense verb and then a short description of, of what you did. So we add, and we'll just call these user and index routes okay so again that's it for user and index routes and we'll see you in the next video thanks